Weatherford in the gun, four-man rush. Throws short. Fumble. Clemson has it. Picked up by Dwayne Coleman on the bounce. After Brandon Warren made the catch, Coleman came and knocked it out and got it on the bounce. And to me, that is another indicator of a team that's not completely there, not completely ready to go. It was really a nice job by Warren getting the first down. Turned a short catch upfield, but just didn't protect the football. Carrying it very loosely. They fumbled it seven times last week against Troy. Sure only did. lost three of them. This one very critical against a much better Clemson team. I guarantee you one thing. They fumble it seven times tonight. They're going to be on the short end of a big score. Here comes the reverse Ford. He's got great speed. Blockers in front. Inside the 10. Anthony Hula saved the touchdown. A 38-yard reverse to Jacoby Ford, who can fly. The way you work against a team with great speed. Here's Jacoby Ford right here. As you go misdirection, bring it this way and come back with the reverse. Get that fast defense running and then come back with misdirection. A well-executed reverse. Excellent job by Marion Dukes out there leading. Look at the quarterback, Will Proctor, running down there trying to get a block. First and goal from the eight. There goes Davis, touchdown. Two plays to take advantage of the turnover. He'll run it inside the 10-5. Touchdown, Proctor. A 20-yard run, the longest of the season for Proctor, and he comes up big time. And a great decision by the young man also. One here in 1989. The quarterback of that team was a fifth-year senior as well. did there they had mass substitutions and then they lined up and went on a quick count and they caught the Florida State defense unaware look at all the defenders standing up they lined up and went on a quick count and fooled the Florida State defense what a call third and goal Davis touchdown led him from the fullback spot and Davis hammered his way in and the Clemson offensive line did its job.